I got to show you the greatness of the Cybertruck, the best truck in America. If you agree, then let me know in the comments. But if you don't, then agree to disagree. But watch this video to check it out. Let me take it on big screen so you guys can see it. It almost looks like it's in Mars. We're going to try out Trail Assist just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And shouldn't try this at home, but gives you a good idea of how precisely the vehicle will control the speed on the way up this hill. And obviously, I'm and again, don't try this at home. Demonstration only. OK, so you morons would do it and then blame Tesla and Elon and all that other stuff and try to open up a class action suit. So don't do it. I'm not putting any input in, so it's doing it all on its own. And it'll keep it nice and smooth all the way up to the top. <laughs> We're out here in the lab testing off-road mode. So we designed the new off-road app to be super accessible. Let's tap it. We've got Overland, we've got Baja. In Overland mode, we try to efficiently get the power down on the ground. Cybertruck has the ability to do cross-linking and air suspension, which helps you push traction to the wheels. And in rock mode, it's all about keeping the wheels extremely tight to the ground and glued to the rock. Oh my god. It'll increase the rock. Come on, man. He, he need to hit the gym. Heads are very high. We use the millisecond precision of the electric motor. It maximizes the amount of traction you can get for the terrain you're on. And Baja mode is very much so driver focused. The way I like to think of Baja mode is it sort of takes the truck and shrinks the wheelbase a little bit. So you go from having a full size utilitarian truck into almost a go kart. You've got control of your handling balance. If you find yourself in a situation where you're looking for more stability, you can push that handling balance forward and the truck will just be on rails. If you're looking to have a little bit more fun, loosen it up, you can move it rearwards and you'll have a nice trekking experience. See, this is this is, should be the truck for the government. This should be truck for all governments, you know, especially Border Patrol. We got to get up some of those immigrants, illegal. Now, at the end of the day, this is an excellent vehicle for the military, excellent vehicle for public services, the government, even the ambulance. You know, come on, off-road. What if you out there behind a bunch of sand, you know? You want, you want the ambulance to come and get you. Don't we need a Tesla Cybertruck? We don't need a Ford F-150. That's not going to get it done, okay? We need tech. You've also got quick access to wade mode. It'll raise your ride height. It'll pressurize your battery pack. The bottom floor of the truck is all battery pack. Tesla has an extreme focus on safety, so we pressurize the battery pack, keep the water out. No other vehicle can do this. No other vehicle can do this. And you guys know that y'all be having those cars, those ice vehicles, and then it was a little flood, and you get yourself trying to drive your Prius or your Hyundai or your Toyota or whatever through the flood in Katrina or whatever, and you guys end up flooding the engine, sitting there wiped out like Crash Bandicoot. So go on ahead and get to the Cybertruck. Our weight height's 815 millimeters, which is about to the top of these tires. We do that to keep the cabin dry, keep the electronics dry, and keep you dry when you're going through deep water so you have a great off-roading experience. Trail Assist is Cybertruck's off-road cruise control. So if you're on completely off the pedals, and the car sorts of figures out exactly how much regen and brakes apply in order to smoothly get us down. This gives you the ability to have a speed control, works as a hill ascent, works as a hill descent. Most importantly, it allows me to focus on steering. Hell's Gate, straight ahead. We need a better song. We have service. We have Starlink. Are we ready? And he said we need a better song, but we still got Starlink. In the bush, man. You, you get. So even in the bush, we got Nipsey Hustle. We got Elton John. We got Mike Jack from the Starlink. The Starlink, Scotty Beam. And then we still got reception. We still got connectivity. Ah, come on. Your Ford doesn't have that. Y'all would have to get like a radar with one of those alien radars with the tinfoil on top of your head. And then you got to put it on top of the antenna so you can get connection. <laughs> come on. But we got Starlink. So we, we tapped in. You're tapped in. Here we, we go. go. Something like Hell's Gate, and we are a wheel three feet in the air. We're able to maintain control because we have mechanical locking differentials that then don't allow a big wheel flare on one corner that would cause you to lose grip and then slide down. Easy peasy. <laughs> 
We're finding the steepest step we can find, what we think is around a 62 to 63 degree angle. The torque is still sent to the wheel that does have traction and continues to propel you forward. In the dual motor, you are able to select front and rear locking differential separately. And in the tri motor, you have the front locking differential that you can engage on the UI. And then off-road light bar enables you to drive off-road at night confidently. We look at them lights, man. It look like something out of Halo. Y'all remember the game Halo? Come on, man. Halo. It look like the Halo truck. Yeah, that's what we call it. The Halo truck. I used to drive the Halo truck all the time. It looked like the Halo truck. <laughs> I'll show it after the video. We can control the ditch lights, main light, all the brightness directly on the UI. It's amazing to be in a vehicle like this in our system because we have computers that monitor various sensors throughout the vehicle at very high rates. We can actually monitor, detect these conditions and correct for it much faster than a human can. Come on, man. Innovation at its greatest. You know, you got the bulletproof, everything like that, you know, uh, to a certain caliber. OK, so don't try that at home, neither. Don't go ahead and start trying to shoot up the car. I see critical frame issue with the Cybertruck future says a normie and there is serious issue with the frame it's very serious in the rear frame and then ripping out when pulling is genuinely hilarious and do we have service do we have starlink exactly and enough compared to somebody test he just did and shows all of the flaws of course that guy's a hater all the flaws yeah man yeah, this is wrong this is wrong yo what's wrong with the ford what's wrong with the ford they don't want to talk about what's wrong with the Ford. Not only mention that the goddamn car ain't even made in America. Talking about a goddamn Asian car with a logo slapped in the front. Still got you thinking that it's an American made car and it represents America. How the car represent America and it's made somewhere else. Come on, man. That's, a, that's all American right there. Ain't one piece <laughs> from America. <laughs> that's all America right there. This is the Halo vehicle. That's the Cybertruck, man. I wonder if somebody can go ahead and do up the Cybertruck like a Halo car. That would be mad. Let me see. Did somebody do that? Halo Cybertruck. Did somebody do that? Nobody did it yet. They got a couple of things kind of looking like it, but it don't look like the. Come on. So it looks like some renderings and that's it, right? We need to tear it out the bad boy window and then we, we're, we're steaming Willie Beeman. See, there we go. We got that. We got the Halo Cybertruck. So that's very interesting. Of course, somebody did it. You know, United States of America. I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And look at this Cybertruck next to you and defend it still today because there ain't no doubt. I love this company. God bless Tesla in the USA. I catch you guys with the next installment of Everyone Hates Tesla. Go get a Cybertruck. Go test it out. Bare minimum. Okay. And don't listen to that Wednesday Dixel individual who pointed out all the flaws. I'm pointing out all the flaws for all the bumps on your face. Nah, shout outs to him. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get these videos in this hot ether and get more great videos about great products and services at Tesla. I see you guys in the next one. Peace.